Oh, All right, folks, sorry for the delay, but, you know, we're doing uh, stuff to get passwords and stuff like that for the Wi-Fi. Anyways, walking through the hallways of AJ Hobbies here on 200 Edgeley Boulevard. Look at all this stuff. Hi, Vanna. Me too. Yes. Ooh, anything you need, it's always here. Oh, what are we here to do? What are we here to do? Well, let's ask Money Man. Money Man, what are we here to do? We are unboxing. You are unboxing. It's this like... Well, you are unboxing. We're disrobing an airplane. Indeed we are. Yes. Getting that, into the box, as it were. That, that is awesome. Okay. Before we get started, just want to show you what's going to go into this plane. Nothing but the best. I'm a bit biased. Just saying. All right. Uh, let me... Before we do that, let's see if we're live now. Let's uh, refresh this. We should have... With a delay. Where the hell? We should be. How come we're not... Uh... Hmm. Yeah, we should be live. But it's not. I think maybe you should record and post. Yeah, maybe we'll record and post. But uh... yeah, it's not broadcasting that we are live. So, hmm, hmm, hmm. Events? No. Maybe it's... You want me to hold that? No, I'm just looking for why it's not going live. Just bear with us, folks. Uh, both. Uh, maybe it went live here. My contacts are for the phone. That's a 15 Pro Max and the Ultra 6. This is correct. Oh, yeah. We are live. There we go. Share this. Really? To... So I have a whole regular story. That's a problem. <laughs> but they allowed you not to get a USB. Okay. Uh, well, anyways. This is, this is, um, two, this can you day. share this to RC Antics <laughs> Group? Yeah. I don't know. Probably? No. Share the group at the bottom. Why didn't you ask me that? Yeah. Is it working or not? What am I? Chopped liver? Or he just, well, I guess he just posted it. So it went, uh, yeah. Yeah, and then do RC antics. Yeah. Type search. There you go. Yeah. You got a new car? New car. It's the same car, but it's the new. There you go. And then my sister got the old. Yes. And you go post. 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 Yay. Awesome. Now they should be live. Woo there they are. Ooh. Yeah. What's that? That's, that's an old one. So now we go to the group and let's make sure it's live. Ah, oh, there it is. All right. So now we'll at least be able to see all the questions if there are any. Woohoo! Right? All morning. right. So inside here, so of course, small. we're going oh to be God. unboxing all this wonderful stuff. And we have a cast of thousands here helping. We got Isan. We got AJ himself. Actually, AZ okay. himself. Yes, AZ. Arden Zhang, Mr. Hobby Pros Depot Extraordinaire. They are very close friends. Yeah, Just yeah. saying. Very close. How much distance? <laughs> we have Wade the Explorer, dressed up in his exploratory garb. Yep. And we have the Italian Stallion here. Yes. And <laughs> Mr. Money Man. All right. And you are? Just any old Joe. <laughs> any old Joe. Just any old Joe right here. Joe T. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to show you what we're going to put inside these when we open it. So inside, we're going to put in the, well, this is outside. This is the new X20 Pro with, um, available from Hobby Pros Depot, of course. Uh, it is got multiple protocols in here. Access, ACCST, Twin, Tandem, uh, and one more. It's called the Pro Protocol. You know, all metal gimbals, all Hall Effects stuff. Very exciting. And inside the plane, we're going to be putting in what's called a TD-SR12. This is a stabilized 12-channel receiver. You know, so we're going to go away from the aura from the very first time. Scary. Hoo-hoo. And all the way from the sprawling cosmopolitan of Czechoslovakia. We have the JMB canisters. These things are super sexy. They've got the uh, wrinkle finish here. 
they've got very interesting mounting in the back so you don't mount these from the center you mount these from the back and they give you these headers these headers have ultra thick flanges and they're super strong and they're intended to be used as a mount mounting point okay between the front and the back so your your canisters are fully supported yes and of course to control all these surfaces we have the what is this the m52 servos m no no sorry m55 oh oh even stronger thanks thanks for the correction uh, vanna you're welcome so with the m55s at 8.4 volts put out oh wow it puts out just saying not in that what you're thinking of course uh <laughs> It, the transition speed is 0 0.09 seconds at 60 degrees, which is super fast, and 850 ounce inches of torque. 850 oh, ounce that's inches of number. torque. That's, crazy. that's insane. So there will be two of these on each wing. There will be one of these for the rudder and one on each side for the elevator. And uh, yeah, and Arden, this guy here, this guy here, can mm -hmm. order it for you can order it for you right yes okay good all right so what we're gonna do is clear out some stuff here I'm gonna ask Vanna White to step in the back and we're going to start taking things apart and putting things together and doing all kinds of wonderful stuff and we'll put this on the we'll put this thing on the ground so that it can't fall any lower oh thanks all right so yeah, she, Vanna's going to be a bit nervous. It's his first time unboxing. You have insurance, audience, and customers. So, first of all, what model is this? What model? Yak. Yakety yak. Fifty-four. Yak fifty-four. Look at that. That's right. By Skywing. All right, let's check out what's in the box. You need a glove? No. Maybe you can help him. What do you think, Wade? He's uh, going to need help. I think he can. With the big guys need help. Because there's a box and a box and a box, I'm oh, sure. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, it's one of those deals. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't... Uh, destroy the box totally? Dis or? Destroy the box. Feel free. Oh. oh, it's like Christmas. Look at that. Okay, we'll do the, we'll do the uh, helicopter view here. Oh. Don't worry about the rotor blades. Okay, here we go. Mm. Box and a box. Yeah. And... Here, why don't we take that and toss it? Yes! Oh, by the way, all those boxes back there are Skywing airplanes. So come over, buy this stuff so that we can use the racetrack over here, you know, to run cars. <laughs> That's the only reason, yeah. All right, there's a trick to opening this. You, yes. you want to see? Punch what you do is, yeah, come here. I'll, I want to do uh, this one. So we go right in the corner here. One. Oh. Two, three. Well, it's not my plane. Four. Now you can pry it out. That's why I, I uh, you know, this is politically correct, but you bang the sides <laughs> to break the glue joint. You don't read anything into that, right? Oh, oh that. Listen, ASMR. Ooh. Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, more oh yeah, ASMR. more is. <gasps> Look at that! <sighs> ah. He's being a responsible citizen and putting everything together. Oh my God! So, ready? Yes. Um, yeah. Oh, it's like Christmas. Don't don't worry about the blade. It will, it'll only cut. No, It'll only hurt a little bit for a little while. You want to scratch the cow? Yeah. It'll lose fifty percent of its value. Oh, fifty. <laughs> Seventy. Yeah, it'll lose its aerodynamic value. Yeah. Well, aerodynamic <laughs> and a yak. I don't think they exist. The only thing missing from me, this one is Svetlana Kapanina. Yeah. Right. Oh. Oh. It's, oh look at that. <gasps> okay. <laughs> oh my God! Look at that. Oh. 
My goodness. Oh, wow. There's a lot of packaging material here. Oh, what's this? Here. Oh, oh look at that. Spinner. Yes. And uh, landing gear cuffs. Yes. Make, oh my god, watch, watch, watch the blade. Okay, we take the blade. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Nice color. Yes, nice. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Now, here, hand that over here for a sec. Ooh. It's pre baffled. Yes. Oh, look. It's pre cut at the bottom, so you don't have to make a mess. For the vents. Yeah. Look at that. Pre baffled in the front there. And look at this. There's wow. baffles. It's hard to yeah, see uh, here, so maybe we'll put it on the inside. Look at the baffle. Oh yeah. There's a there's a cover. Yeah. Let's take out the cover. Yeah. There's a take that piece out. Okay. Oh wow! It's flush mounted ring, and look at these baffles. Ready for your engine. Oh, Ready for, for your engine. Look at that. Oh, for the yes. thing? No, so, I, I, I saw you need a... Oh, okay. This is the new Skywing helmet. Can you model the, the Skywing helmet for us? Sure. Oh, Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this is perfect. It's like Daleks, right? Yeah, it looks like Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Terminate. My God. Exterminate. Huh? Exterminate. <laughs> so it matches your Lisa, lipstick, Isan. Isa. This is beautiful. Oh, I forgot to put lipstick. <laughs> yeah. He asked me before. This is fantastic. And look at these wheel cuffs. And Can to open or no? Oh, sure. Let's see. Oh, you actually use a knife for this? Oh, my God. Oh. oh. There's lots of oohs and ahs happening here. Yeah. Carbon oh, look at that. I like the scheme on this. Yes. You know, orange, orange is... Uh, the new black. Yeah. The new black. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually real carbon fiber. You can see that on the inside. Mm -hmm. Right? And thin. nice and thin, and look at that. Good paint job. Too. Ultra light, yeah. nice sheen on it. It's got my fingerprints on it now. So, Isan, what are we going to open next? I think we should open the veins. Yes. Yeah, we leave the best for last. All right. So let's move this aside somewhere. Yeah. Let me put the back. Inside. Yes. I'll wear that. Could you please? Yeah. Uh, you you should wear the since it's raining outside. <laughs> you gotta put your yeah. rain. Back yeah. Okay. Yeah, you should put that in so that it, it'll keep the rain off your hair. Is that just extra baffling so you can adjust it? Yeah, me? so you can you can baffle helmet. the back oh, so it has to come out. Oh. Yes. Oh. All right. Look what we got here. Okay, I'm going to step off the table here. If I'm not making a mistake, I have to open from the side, right? I don't know. You, you, this one's going to take two people because uh, you're going to open both sides. Wayne, yeah, someone has to hold it from one side. Wayne? 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 Wade. Wayne? Wade. Oh, that's my coffee. I think I need my coffee. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, this should be fun. Box in a box. Wow. I didn't know I got 55 kilogram servings. Yep. That's huge. Yeah, well, I've been told. Uh, this is uh, what size wingspan? 104 inches. Nice. <laughs> you know yes. what? Skywing is raising their game. Not that they weren't great before, but... These guys... Look at the boxing, right? I mean, it's freaking pro, man. Oh, it's just... pushing? Oh, okay. oh, look at that. Yeah, they got they got the method down pat now. Yes. They got the method. They were good before, but this is a whole different level. Yes. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. Score the, <laughs> score the top to re. Or you can pull it. Yeah. yeah, just score it with the knife. You got knife. It's easier. Yeah, I know. It's the first time Isan's using something sharp. I am making some sharp things. Just make sure you don't run with it. Mama it. says never run with sharp no, objects no, in your hand. It's okay, Shumpet. Shumpet. <laughs> Shumpet. <laughs> In the wing box, you just kind of bash really hard in the middle, right, Joe? Is that how you open it? Yeah, the right. You right put a middle? sledgehammer right in the middle. Yeah, okay. That's how we test the, um, the strength of the box. Correct. The strength of yeah. the Are you going to stand on the, the wing again, Joe, like you did the last time? And jump up and down? Absolutely. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. No. This is awesome. Oh, so yeah. Thank you. Ooh. I'll be in my bunk. Yeah. I'll be in my bunk. <laughs> yeah. It's a little, uh. So, what Isan's removing right now are canister mounts. Little dragonfly reference for the audience. Yes. Canister mounts. And here, this carbon fiber piece, that's the hatch cover. Oh, yeah for the uh, in the engine box we'll go over that a little later and inside here you'll see all the um, <coughs> little <laughs> little silicone pieces oh that's what they okay are. that uh, protect the canister from denting they give you four canister mounts so we won't be using these because jmbs are mounted much 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 simpler all right but we will be using that and you notice there's a grommet there every place where there's wires that come out on skywing planes there is a grommet so we're not going to open both wings but we're going to open one and i heard oh, what's this carbon fiber tube yes carbon fiber wing tube it's beautiful all right so we're gonna look at the color and we're gonna check out to, to see if isan can open this without cutting the covering <laughs> Wow, they even have, uh, look how they packed it, Angel. Yeah. It's amazing. Is that new? I haven't seen that before. Usually they toss it in with like... Uh, no, they, they've always done it this wrap. way. They did? Yeah. Okay. Because they've got these. Yeah, that's what I meant. They're so called, that... Uh, um, kind of wing spacers almost. Yeah, and it keeps the box away from the wing itself. Plus, right. you know, whatever extra foam. Wow, it's packed like a brick. Good house. Set up. <laughs> said I <laughs> all right he's almost there he might need help unboxed unbagging yeah Ooh, here it comes here it comes oh oh that's a nice scheme man. it's beautiful it's going to be great with Lime Green Hobby Pros Depot.com and Horus RC decals. Lime Green? Lime, lime Green because it's... Blue and Lime Green, Orange and Lime Green. Yeah, that works. Yes. Nice. Look at that. Very nice finish. Oh, man. Let's, let's put it back here so we can see the finish. I'm going to do it sideways here so we can see. Look at that. Right out of the box. Smooth as silk. But it's still good practice before you go out flying the very first time. Just run your iron on over the seams. Yes. And look. Skywing. Carbon fiber ribs. I don't know if you can see that. But here, maybe. You'll see in there, there's carbon fiber ribs for the first six or eight ribs that support the wing tube. Okay, it's got... Mm, more grommets here. It's got the quick connect posts, which in the form of screws. And it's doubled up by um, anti-rotation pins. That's new. Two of them. Yeah, nice. two of them. That's carbon fiber. Wow. And now let's take a look at the other side. Okay, so all Skywing planes have these markings. It shows you the orientation of the servo how the servo is supposed to go and if you look where i'm pointing <coughs> down there i don't know if you can see it let's i'm going to zoom in go in here a little bit um there's actually a string that oh. goes all the way so that uh, pull your aileron wires. yeah so that you can pull your aileron wires through the new skywing um control horns are marked w1 and w2 they are both different heights and we'll show you that because the outboard i believe is is longer or shorter sure. shorter and the inboard is longer to equalize the throw so that you can make it makes it easier to me mechanically set up the wings and the servos so the throws have the same percentage by the way on these we use one if you work really hard at it you can use 1.5 inch arms to get 38 degrees throw on the ailerons and the recommendation here is 38 degrees down 38 degrees up 
but you know, it, and yes, you can use 1.5. But if you're lazy, you can use 1.75 and use <laughs> whatever adjustments that you have. It's all good. All right. Done? Yes, let's open the other box. Ooh. No, no, no. We can put, we can put the box over there. Yes, I'll help Isan carry the box. I got it. I got it. You got it? All right. Now, I believe Isan's going to need help with this one. First of all, stand beside it. Holy crap. I'm sure they got it. No, no, no. You're six feet two inches. I know. Don't, don't, don't lie. You're six feet two inches wearing 12 inch heels. <laughs> now, Wade's going to stand beside it. He's really, what are you, Wade? Six, six two? Four. Six four? You're six four. Not, not that you're bragging. Holy crap. About seven feet. So, Wade, That's a seven foot we can actually box. cremate you in that box, right? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but because if you took it home without telling your wife, that's how it would end say, up. She buried me in it. Anyway, so. that, that's right. Nice hole in the backyard, about that size. Yeah. All right. So here we go. We got Vanna and Wade the Explorer. This is going to be a, a oh, again a double, double, double thingy, and we're not talking about coffee because uh, that's it's a huge coffin. Yes, Isan learned how to use a sharp object. That's amazing. Is it oh, here? Was it, wait, do you remember Skywing being this? Yeah. Professional before? On the, like the 60 inch and up, they're all like this. Okay. Yeah. I haven't seen them in a while, I guess. Yeah, even the 72 inch that you fly. Yeah. Is a, it's like this. They do, Push. they take, yeah, go ahead. they take great care and I am not sure. being being funny here they take great care in packaging yeah. and the, you know in all the years of unboxing skywing stuff i don't think we've ever seen any shipping damage related no, yeah, yes never. it's been amazing i've seen a, a corner of a dent a box dented yes and nothing ever damaged so i i think we're gonna cut up here on the tape yeah on the what tape all the way around thing? yes because uh that is probably the top of the there's a clue there yeah <laughs> Is there a pen here? Mm, you know, just just lay it off. We're, while while you're watching Isan, okay. I think there's a clue. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't move. Can you? There's an arrow here that's faint. Oh, it says T O P. Look up there, and you see him. Yes. You're number one. Yes, you are number one. Well, they did. They wrote that on there, right? No, I wrote oh, that on there. Ready? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. I got to climb up here again. We'll do the bird's eye view once again. Okay. Oh, my God. Look at the packaging. That's amazing. By the way, we cannot walk on the marble because that's a floating tabletop. Yeah. It's... Uh, Oh, look, wing bags. Oh, and we're not talking about the people that packed it. Pull up? Oh, that's sure. Bag. That's all of us. Rip. Wing, bags. wing bags. Look at that. Wing bags. Oh, man. Bags. Yes, Skywing continues the tradition. Yeah. Wing bags. That's just the wing wings. Did they not give you one for those? Oh, they yeah, did. they did. And here's the elevator stab bags oh yeah they they have elevator bags too yes yes their elevators the same size as my well oh my where are the elevators on this oh they're hidden down there okay great they're in this you know I, it's the first time i've seen isan with a sharp object and we truly are nervous just saying for us, hurry up man i'm getting bored already <laughs> oh, look at that. Yes. Oh, they've got. They got. Like lettering. That's the first time. First yeah. time. Now, gotta show you something about oh, these. Oh, look, it's got the name on the side. Yeah. Yes. That's cool. You wanna take a moment? Yeah, just one. I wanna show him something. 
Uh, I'll take the one that's uh, ace on slice here. Okay. How do you guys want to do this? Take the elevators up first? Maybe? No, I've got to take the top off first, the rudder. And we'll go through the oh, accessory the box. Go through the accessory box first. All right. So look at this. These, these are the wheel pants. I want to show you something. There's a little hole that you see here. I'm pointing with my pinky. The way these are supported is by three screws. Two in the back, which screws into the landing gear. One screws into the axle. Trust me, this actually helps prevent cracking because they usually crack where they're mounted on the inside. But since they're supported by the axle as well, it prevents it from moving sideways like that and prevents the back from cracking. So great little innovative piece from Skywing. And of course, the lettering is all brand new. That's nice. And uh, that's, that's cool. paint, by the way. Yeah. If you can feel the Y, oh, the Y, yeah. you know, the lettering cool. is actually the actual fiberglass itself. And they do it over yeah, they masked, they it. masked it. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Nice. All right. Yeah, nice job. This side. Let's get, let's you take out hardware, hardware. Yes, let's take out the hardware. You need to move here. No, I can't move there because we can't. Okay. All right. So first, the stand. Okay. So look at these. They come with high quality wheels. And these are not your typical. You want to open? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Typical. No, no, we don't need to open that. Typical, you know, junky wheels. These are actually heavy duty. Because the airplane will be close to 29 pounds. And over here, people always ask, hey, what's this? Well, if you glue these together, they become axle stands for your plane. Prevent things from moving. Now, here's the tank that comes with the Skywing. This is a 32-ounce tank or one liter tank. Okay? And uh, yes, we will be replacing the, the uh, tubes with uh, Viton. Or you can use what you can use the Sullivan Pro tubing, which is actually Viton. You see the Skywing branding on the cap? Oh yeah, that's right. It's got the funky Skywing brand right on the top. I should open this right on the table. Nice. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we'll we'll jump down here again. <clears throat> wow, what is it? Look I'm at that. This is. Brand spanking new. This is actually tank tie downs and battery tie downs. Dead. Yeah, so we used to buy two double sided Velcro, okay, uh, straps for the tanks. Now they're including it. A neat touch here is the, um, the snakeskin stuff mm. to uh, route all your exposed wirings. This thing here is kind of cool because this allows you to mount your XT60 or EC5 connectors right on the fuselage to make it easy to route your battery cables. It's awesome. These are servo mounting plates that go underneath the, um, underneath the uh, what's it called, engine box to make servo mounts easier. For throttle and choke. For, yeah, for throttle and choke, that's correct. And here's the push rod for your throttle already. And these are a neat touch. This is actually window rubber liners that you use for, you know, canopy, use for the wheel pants, wheel cuffs, and so on. Comes with a heavy duty carbon fiber landing gear. Now, once upon a time, these used to say Pilot RC. I believe they were, um, there was a collaborative effort once upon a time. And here is, yep. These actually go like on the fuselage like this. Okay, pretend the fuselage is up there. It hides the uh, oh. tail wheel piece. And matches the paint. And, on the and matches the paint. It's just little finishing touches. Yeah. Now, with you saw the nose cone of the cowling before. Here's the actual back plate of the spinner. Okay. With a drill guide. Okay, so that... Um, you can bolt your props together, put the, put the drill guide in place and drill those holes and uh, you'll have a perfect fitting spinner with the correct spacing. I can't think of a piece of hardware that they've missed. I mean, I don't think there's anything in that. I'll tell you though, there's one thing that they do they are missing, which you have to supply yourself. Can it I is, yes, go for it. 
uh, yeah, just rip it. It's easier to rip. Um, one thing that you do need to supply all Skywing planes is the extensions for the wing servos. That's, you know, if they need to do something, they should... You mean the one you got to spread through the wing? Yeah, the one you put through the wing, those extensions. I mean, but how can they provide that? That's kind of radio related, I would think. Uh, no. No? No, you can do it. Because all servo extensions are 8 inches. So, I mean, all servo leads are 8 inches. 8 inches. So you can That'd forecast cool the length. Yeah, to you me, can. That's like super above and beyond the call. Well, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yes. Oh, look at this rudder. Look at against the money man. Yeah. Yes. And look at this. It's got the hinges pre glued. Okay. And it's got the. Um, the rod, whatever this, it's called uh, the hinge rod already in place. Yeah, and they've changed this. It used to be this went all the way through to the top, and you would put, you know, it from the top down. Then you'd put a wheel collar at the bottom. But now they smartened up, I think, because they know once the landing gear is in place, mm -hmm. you can't that take off. that off. Yeah. That's fantastic. So great. And once again, look at the workmanship of the finish. No bubbles. Okay. I, I can't even see a one. Yeah. yeah. Looking hard. Very good. Yeah. But I'll tell you though, you know, always good idea to run your iron out all the seams. Weather here is different than it is where it was built. How come I can't do work that good? And look at this. Here's the elevator. Pre-hinged and sealed. Take a look at the seal on the uh, elevator. And look, the first three, no, four ribs are all carbon fiber on there. So now wherever the carbon... laminated or is actual carbon? This is laminated. There's two-sided laminations okay. on that carbon fiber to make it nice and strong. And apparently it really is carbon fiber because if you put an ohm meter there, you can get resistance through it. Cool. Uh, also, you notice the plus sign on the little piece of wood. That's the orientation of the servo, so your servo arm becomes centered. And for these, we use two-inch servo arms, okay? Two-inch servo arms, and you set the elevator as much as you can get, usually about 55 degrees up, 55 degrees wow. down. Yes, two-inch, 30, 30 millimeters. No, 60. No, 50. 50 millimeters, 25 millimeters yeah, per inch. Okay, 25, point, okay, fine. <laughs> 32. Wait for the money shot, man. Okay. Yeah, wait for the All right, so we'll put that, we'll give that back to Isan. I like that the servos are mounted inside and not, and they're part of the elevator so they can be removed. Yes. Without having to. What, you haven't seen mine? Oh, no, I've seen it. The By the way. Yeah, the okay. The big reveal. Here, here comes. Here comes. Yeah, here it comes. Here comes the rain again, oh. falling on my yeah. head like a memory. Uh, falling, oh, oh. like a head, like a, oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shoot. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Now, I, but I'll hold it. You guys can rip off the plastic. No blood, no Come blood. close to the end. Oh, okay. We're going to need... Sharp objects I'll, here. I'll, I'll hold a few flies from the inside. This okay, one guys, here. I don't trust myself with a knife. So. Okay, that's fine. I don't trust these on either. Hold but on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Did I ask for help? Okay, go go ahead. You cut. You cut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. This, this star is very tempestuous. Yeah, that's that's more than three syllables, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> She's hard to work with this one. There we go. That's it. Oh yeah. Oh look! They even put shock absorbers. Okay, we'll let on the fin. Yeah, on the fin. Yeah. Now we're it. Yeah, Okay, Cut here. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Dude, be careful. Uh, I know, shut up, Christian. <laughs> no, no. You, before, before she loses, it's justified. Top. 
Okay. It tells me what, how it is. You so you, which you gonna pull it out the pull front? From the back. From the back. Yeah. No, pull it out the front. Okay, so okay there we go. Oh, well, wow. you're pulling the bag out. Oh, look at that! Oh, how beautiful is that? Yeah, we'll we'll put a piece of tape underneath there. Actually, there's a screw. Let's screw that in. Hey, look, it's got cow mounts with blind nuts in it and everything. Pre-done. That's right. Look at that. That is awesome. So, here's where the anti-rotation pins go. Here's the quick mount, quick connect. Okay, where the you remove... Quick connect, yeah. No, no, the it's not servo. It is the, the wing quick connect. I'll show you how that works. Oh, so, right, right, right. Okay, so got it. Skywing came up with a concept of these things. So, we don't want to lose them so what we do is we take them out put them on backwards and it sticks we move the cowling back and then lift it up yes and there's there we go there's the innards and look at this okay if i lift this up see that when you lift this thing up it opens up the latch here which allows you to slip the wing in and when you put the canopy back on no choice it locks in place nice simple mounting and there are two of them one in the front right here <coughs> and one in the back everything is carbon fiber laminate in here and look the servo extensions are all inside and goes all the way to the back oh, yes i see what you're talking about all the way to the back and look at this it comes out right there the rudder extension is in there too okay so you just need to fish out the rudder wire and everything is cool and copacetic they put it in a tube so it's out yes away. so this could act as a battery tray depending on where your cg is or this here can act as a battery tray <coughs> or the sides can act like a battery tray because this is where your tank sits right in the middle there's holes here there's half moon pieces that are provided in the kit and you put those half moon pieces here so that the tanks sit on it. <clears throat> There's enough room here for smoke, two tanks, or just to use a single tank, keep it light. You have four battery connectors? Yes. Wow. You can have up to. Up to four. Yeah. So here, because if you're going to put your batteries back here, you want to use the rearward yeah. section. If you're going to put oh, it up here, you use the forward section. The receiver goes here. Now, big difference now, they put a reinforced area for the receivers. A lot of people were using stabilized receivers on these. Yep. And we used to have to bridge former this former to this former to in order to make it, actually it didn't have a former there, it had a former back here. We used to put carbon fiber rod, square rod, to stabilize that platform so that the uh, auras would not go finicky. So now it's and right now there. It's all, this is all carbon fiber. That's all not carbon. laminated. That's carbon fiber. That's real. Yeah. That's, That's beautiful. Nice. And remember I showed you those uh, connectors for the EC5 or XT60? They're used for these things. So basically what happens is when you put your battery here, you put your cable down, plug it right in. Bob's your uncle. Now, and a nice thing about Skywing is everywhere where there is wires or tubes, they give you grommets. Grommets are pre-installed on either side. So pretty awesome. Now there is a canister tunnel here. Let me just take this and put this back. Do you mind? Put the canister back? Lean, no, no, leaning it so that, yes. Here's the canister tunnel. Okay, it's held on by bolts and also held on by the landing gear. Okay. And the other one too? So that's it. So that's where the canister goes. It's already pre-done. There's tabs here so that you can actually get the canister in there and use the provided supports to support the canister. You know, thinking twice, I may use those canister mounts. Why not? It's there. Yeah, what? What is that pipe? Sorry, the pipe is for? That's for your servo cables. Servo cables for what? Yeah, it's servo cables. Protecting the wires that's, from heat. That's correct. Protect the wires from dangling. Because traditionally we used to run the servo wires inside and come out through here. Exactly, yeah. So now we run the 
servo wires through here and then snake it up in here through the grommet okay and because when you mount your servos in the marked areas of course the wires will be inside and notice here there's already pre-drilled holes for the throttle and choke push rod nice so it looks like tapped already i see thread you see thread i see thread in the wood oh i don't really? know Oh no, that, I think that's just tapping. That's yeah, drill marks. Drilling drill marks. Mount? Yeah. Sorry, that's not for the servo push rods. These are for um, engine, mounts? engine mounts. Engine mounts. So we still have to put um, T uh, M5 blind nuts here and pull them through. But all this we will seal with some trim clad paint uh, so that it doesn't get contaminated. And then what we'll do is we'll. Wow, this weighs nothing at all. Feel that that we're going to cut those holes for the canister mounts so that uh, the canister can exhaust out the bottom and the air will flow through to keep things cool and you notice it's nicely curved here nicely curved mm. to let the air out cool. yeah so this one is actually held on by landing gear wow. like that so we need, we're going to need yeah. to be careful we just put a piece of piece tape of here nothing to do with these bolts so here's a curious thing guys and gals with Skywing if you notice the bolts are offset right the front bolts are wider in offset than the rear bolts so the landing gear can only go in one way because the landing gear is pre-drilled <laughs> yeah silly things like that right mm -hmm. is there scotch so it matches tape somewhere the here? angle of the gears as well you don't have to guess though yeah you don't have to guess gears, yeah. it's done Oh, you got a piece of tape? Oh, good. So we'll just put tape. Yeah. One side's good. Good enough. Yeah. All right. So that's the fuselage. What else do we have in the box? Uh, that's it. Oh, the landing gear. Right? All right. So let's... Here, I'll hold that up. You're going to have to cut those out. Yeah. And... There's another elevator. Another elevator. We'll put the elevators in the bags. And then we'll cut out the landing gears. All right. So we're getting close to the end, folks, and we appreciate you sticking it out with us. We'll make sure this is undeletable on Facebook. This is located on both Hobby Pros Depot Facebook page, or is it AJ Hobby's Facebook page, and uh, RC Antics Facebook page. We'll also be sharing this on Horace RC Canada Limited's uh, Facebook page. Is there a servo mount? in the tail for the rudder so you can go direct drive yes the answer is yes okay so i it's hard to see here but you will see two arrows arrow number one arrow number two behind here okay you have two areas which you can use and i'm going to push it slightly so maybe we can get the shadow to show um can you do me a favor just hold this I'm gonna so here is a the location for the rearward portion of the servo mount and a forward portion of the servo mount for the rudder so they give you two locations because believe it or not uh, about two inches makes a difference in CG so you can put the servo in the back or in the front location and it comes with either push rod for you to use so hope that answers your question John it's on yes. both sides actually and it's on both sides so if you prefer a right-hand servo installation for push-pull you can do that as well and there's the left hand I'm looking at here's the left hand uh, portion for the servo installation by the way on these okay on the 120 cc I use the in this case a 55 kilogram servo it's more than enough it does beautiful knife edge loops outside snaps fast enough you don't need to use dual rudder servos for this plane Rudder authority is incredible. <clears throat> this is all your pop tops, all your maneuvers that you like to do. All right, let's see the landing gear. Oh, oh look at that. They painted the landing gear. It's a clear coat, right? Yeah, no, it's, you see the carbon fiber. Yeah, it's a clear coat. It's, nice. it's not clear coat. You can't see the carbon through it. Huh. it. It's actually painted black. And you notice the holes again are offset. You can only mount this one way. Oh. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Idiot proof. Idiot proof. Yes. Well, <laughs> uh, you know, you know, 
let me tell you something. Idiot proof. I think there's a there's a more severe one born every day. So, <laughs> um, but the nice thing is with Skywing, they're always innovating, always adding new things. Yeah, I'm impressed. This one's gonna have um, wing electrical quick connects here, so that uh, you know you don't have to plug in servos. I know it's a lazy piece, but we're gonna put those on, and there will be a build log separately in. Uh, RC antics no, keep an eye on that yeah. we'll start this probably just after Christmas and you'll see the postings in RC antics oh oh by the way for you iMac guys and gals you need a cockpit with cockpit detail look at that artificial horizon airspeed everything there front and rear pilot so there she blows and there she goes Awesomeness. Multifunction display. Yeah, for those of you that run hobby shops, John Horner, you know, uh, Arden, you can make a deal with Arden. You can be the supplier of uh, Skywing planes for West. And Jean Francois Levesque, I, be I believe, is on here as, as well. He is the reseller for Skywing in, in Eastern Canada, aka Quebec. So there, you can get complete coverage across the country. John Horner runs uh, an amazing hobby shop in Calgary. You know, hey, no problem, John, anytime. All right, folks, thank you very much for joining. And for Christian, ciao. Vanna, thank you for all your hard work. Merry Christmas, happy holiday. <laughs> Dora the Explorer, oh, Wayne, thanks. Gino. Thanks. Okay, not and, you. And, and, and Joe. Joe. Thank yes. You. Me, I'll say goodbye now. Thanks, everybody. All right. Thanks, everyone. We Good will job. see you next time. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays.